guys, I have somewhat of a new bag to show you. I thought I would film a what's in my bag. This bag might look a little familiar, and I know what you're probably thinking, but this is not what you might think it is. This is actually a Teddy Blake Eva bag, and I know it resembles a more popular one, but I'm gonna get into that. I had the same suspicions that you are probably having right now. I think that you guys deserve to kind of know the backstory and my first impressions of it. I actually have had this bag since November and I just haven't shared it for someone that 99% of the time has a toddler with me. This isn't a huge bag that can, can, that can keep all of the things she needs as well as my own. So I wasn't using it all that much. So I did re reach out to them and just say that as much as I really enjoy this bag, I'm not using it all the time and I'm not gonna put up a video saying that I do if it's not the case. I offered even to send the bag back to them. I said, you know, maybe at a later date I would, but I just couldn't guarantee that at that time. They were very gracious, told me to keep the bag as a gift, and if it comes back around and comes back up, it does, and if not, it's okay. That was incredible because this is an expensive bag. I mean, I'd say it's comparable to Michael Kors, Kate Spade, even Henry Bendel. It's not a bag that I feel like a company can just afford to just give to anyone without something in return. So I ended up keeping it and I would use it from time to time. Lately I've been gravitating towards this so much more. I don't know if it's just because I've condensed what I'm carrying around now that Addie is a little bit older. I do keep some things in here for her and I'm gonna go through that but I just thought because I've been using it lately I wanted to share it with you guys. I haven't even reached out to them to tell them that I was filming this. I think as far as they're concerned there's not gonna be a video from me on it. I did log on recently to just make sure that they were still a website because I know that they were an up and coming brand and I just wanted to see that they were still in business before I actually talked about them in a video and sure enough they are and they were running an amazing Memorial Day sale. I thought that would be nice to just share with you guys as a consumer. It came in a beautiful gold metallic dust bag with the booty manufacturer name on there and then there's the website bootypelletier.com. So this is the dust bag that it came in which I thought was really nice. And also, it came with a lock and key, which I just took off and I keep in the little dust bag. It is a different bag for me as I'm used to having a two strap bag with longer handles, more of like a shoulder bag or a hobo bag, or even two top handles. So this was definitely something for me to get used to. And also because of the detailed closure on it, it's not always easy for me to have it closed because I'm always going in and out of my bag so that was a little bit took a little bit to get used to but there's a couple different ways you can style this and kind of have it I have it completely closed this is not typically how I ever carry it around but you kind of do need to have some kind of closure on it just so that it's not an open bag so before we kind of get into the whole bag I want to just share with you how this whole thing came to be get my cell phone out of it so I can read you the emails this is what it looks like inside. I'll go into more detail on that. But first I wanna just read to you the conversation that I had between Teddy Blake and myself. The subject line when I received the email was review a high-end leather handbag and you would not believe the amount of emails with similar subject lines that I get. And then when I go to click on the website, I'm like, seriously? That was not the case when I first clicked onto teddyblake.com. I was like, wow, these are really nice handbags. So, I'm gonna read to you, I'm gonna read pretty quick because I don't want this to be the majority of the video, but my initial email response was, thanks for reaching out, your bags are definitely beautiful, but before moving forward, I wanted to ask a few questions. I can't help but notice how similar the classic Katie is to the Hermes Birkin, also the Eva, which is this one, to the Hermes Kelly. And I know my viewers will also note that right away. I'm usually not someone that supports knockoffs as I do own several designer bags myself and appreciate what makes them the high-end designer bags that they are. I guess my concern is that these bags are being replicated, number one, and number two, I guess I'm just curious how you can offer handmade genuine leather handbags made in Italy at such a low price whereas Hermes charges upwards of $10,000 for also handmade genuine leather bags made in Italy. Any additional info you can provide me about Teddy Blake would be greatly appreciated. Please me please forgive me. Please forgive my being skeptical, but I do have an incredibly loyal viewer base and I just like to have all the facts, especially if I'm representing another company's products. 
So they got right back to me and she says, I would like to address the issue you're having with our handbags as I can see you know your bags and you have noticed that they have an uncanny resemblance to our mess bags. Although at first sight they might look like replicas, I can assure you that they are not. These specific models, like Katie and Eva, are made by an Italian manufacturer named Booty. <laughs> B-U-T-I. I just can't help it. It's Booty. I think is how you pronounce it. That has been in the business for decades and has worked with a lot of high-end labels before. They have pro been producing them since 1958. Way, bore, way before Hermes created the Birkin in 1985, and they feature high quality leather material that can match any designer label out there, even Hermes. They also have quality silver toned hardware and are made to last forever. So booty, <laughs> I just want to laugh every time I say that. They are the manufacturer of this bag. The objective of our brand, Teddy Blake, within the next two years is to be the designer brand that will shake the leather handbag industry by selling high quality designer handbags at affordable prices. Our products are beautiful and great quality. While we as a brand are looking up to all high-end handbag brands, our products can easily match their standards just with friendlier price tags. We sell the bag and all that you get with it and not the name slash status attached to it. To quote the Teddy Blake founder, making a high quality leather handbag doesn't mean you'll have to pay up to $10,000. End quote, nothing can justify this price. And then she goes on to say, we're very confident in our product and considering we're a new company, we wish to spread the news about our brand. We would really appreciate if you would talk about the bag in detail and offer your honest opinion. So I hope that was kind of helpful. For me, it was educational. I've never really been into or attracted to the Hermes brand. Their price tag is just, to me, crazy and just way out of my league. And so I didn't really know when the Birkin originated. I didn't know anything about the manufacturer booty. I didn't know anything about that. So hopefully that educated you as well. Rested your mind at ease to just know that this isn't just some random handbag designer trying to ride the coattails of Hermes. This is actually a handbag manufacturer that's been around well before they started creating the Birkin bag. It makes me appreciate this bag even more and just the beauty of it and just this bag alone in its own little league. So let me go through what I carry in here and what I've been carrying in here and then I'll kind of go through more of the features of this bag. It is a structured bag and you can kind of see with the way I have it packaged, <laughs> jam-packed right now, it's kind of bending in, other, in some places. This is how I typically carry it with the little two tabs kind of hanging down and it does expand pretty well, wide and I'm going to show you that again. This is a little silver turn clasp and this is what keeps the bag closed. On the little silver square here it has the booty manufacturer name inscribed and then at the bottom here it says made in Italy. So right along the top I just have my little Louis Vuitton key pouch that I've shared with you in my Mother's Day gift guide. It has the bright yellow citrine inside and I'm so glad that I got this because a lot of people after I showed my Vernie wallet a little hair, recommended that I get one just so that my keys weren't exposed and scratching my my wallet and I've been obsessed with this ever since. It's so convenient and I just like that everything is together. If you've seen any of my what's in my bag videos in the past, you know I'm a very organized person when it comes to my handbags, especially because I tend to carry large handbags, bottomless pit handbags, and I like to have everything kind of organized. So I just like that my keys are simple and kind of in there. On the other hand, I do have this little thing. This is my car key. It's a Volkswagen Tiguan, but I like to keep the key tucked. And then I have my gym um, membership, and this is the key to Dan's house. So I just, I do have that separate because that wouldn't fit in my pouch. I have a little pouch with my friend's earbuds. I use these at the gym or sometimes if I'm editing videos and there's people around and they don't want to be hearing my annoying voice. I have a pack of tissues if you are a mom. Pretty much always have a pack of these in your bag, I'm sure. I also have a pack of baby wipes, hand wipes. These are by Honest. And every time I get my bundle monthly, I get a stack of the travel pack wipes because these are so good to have on hand. They used to be really great for spit up and diaper changes, but now, now I love these for sticky fingers and sticky faces. These are just really great to have on hand. You just never know when you're gonna need a wipe. I have my glasses, my sunglasses in the cute palm print. These are the ones from Stella and Dot. This is really on sale right now for the Memorial Day. These glasses are so embarrassing that they need such a good, they need a cleaning. But these are these Chevron Aviators. They look exactly like the Ray-Bans. These have been my go-tos lately. And I have my wallet. This is also from Stella and Dot. It's the only flap wallet that I have, flap style wallet. 
I love it because I don't carry that many cards. I have my license, my insurance card, my, th my debit card, my credit card. And then I have some cash, receipts, this is a little zip pouch for coins, and then on here it's gold hand hot stamped She Loves Adventure. And I just love the color of it, and there's a really pretty little gold bar. And I just love the perforated detail. I switched out from my Vernie wallet because that was a little bulky for this bag, and I just love how thin and compact this one is. The heaviest thing that takes up the most room in my bag is my makeup case, which I'll show you separately what's in here. But really, if I could just alleviate this, this bag would have a ton more room and be a lot less heavy. And then my little checkbook, which I don't normally pay, pay bills anymore via checkbook, via checks, but uh, some of the places that I go to to get my nails done, my eyebrows, they don't allow you to put tip on credit cards and I oftentimes do not have cash on me so that's when <laughs> this comes in handy. And then there are two little built-in pouches. So in the one I keep my cell phone, my case is by Felony. It's the Kaleidoscope in white. I also have the clear one and I'm obsessed with it. And in this pouch I have my little charge card in the little GG New York pouch that is so old and beaten up. But this goes everywhere everywhere with me. It's a little charge card and I have the little cords in here to charge my phone because my phone battery does not last ever. And I'll show you what's in my little makeup case. This is a beautiful rose gold metallic case that my friend Arizu sent me. This is from the Rosie for Autograph collection. I'm assuming it's something exclusive to the UK because I'm not even sure who Rosie is. <laughs> So in here I have a lip balm from Pharmacy in the Apple Rosemary, which is really, really nice. I always have an alligator clip. My hair is usually up more than it's down, and I love putting it up in these clips. And I usually keep a bright colored one because this bag especially is pretty dark and it's just easier to find. A Nude Sticks Dual Ended Pencil in Mystic and Whisper. I have a hand lotion. This is my favorite from Pacifica, the Sugared Amber Dreams. It smells so good. My little mirror from Sephora that you get anytime you get a gift card. I, I always keep my pen in my makeup case because if you see my Neverfull at the bottom, it has crazy pen marks. So now I just keep that in there. And then I have two little perfumes from Scentbird. In the pink case, I have Nest Indigo, which is one of my favorites for daytime. And in the white one, I have YSL Black Opium, which is a really nice dark scent for nighttime. I have two lip liners, Max Soar and Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 15C, as well as my favorite pencil sharpener from Ulta. It has two two sharpeners, one for jumbo pencils, which I love for the lip pencil, and one for eyeliners. Little hand sanitizer, pocket back from Bath and Body Works. This one's in Dazzling Diamond. It's like a glitter bomb. Nail file. Two more lip products, MAC, Ample Pink and Double Dare from Kat Von D. Lip stain, oh, three more lip products. YSL Glossy Stain 101, which is my favorite. And then in here, it's a little macaroon case. I have a couple Advils, just in case I ever have a headache. So that's what's in my makeup case. And I love keeping this case organized because then I can just, as I switch my handbags, I can just move my case from bag to bag. That's it. That's what the bottom of the bag looks like. The two little pockets are here, and my cell phone fits in either pocket. And then in the very back of the bag is a large zip that covers the whole width of the bag, and it goes pretty deep. So that's nice too for security. It does come with a detachable strap and I love this strap because you can wear it more as a shoulder bag. It's not extremely long so it comes right to your waist and it's a lot easier. I don't really wear this ever as a crossbody but I like it as a shoulder bag especially because even without anything in it is a pretty heavy bag. As you can see here it does open pretty wide and also it's like a little accordion. Collapses to a good width there as well. Like I said, my favorite way to use it is just with the one flap over it and the two little tabs sticking out, but you can also put the tabs over as well to keep it completely closed. To me, this just feels like you're asking for trouble, so I don't ever not have the top 
flap over it. That's everything that I keep inside. That's the bag I'm carrying currently. I know you guys love handbag videos and I really wanted to share this with you because I know that a lot of you are probably going gaga over this bag right now. I would be too. It comes in a lot of different colors as well. I really love the navy because it's so classic. It's such a good neutral if you don't want to carry around a black bag. And it's definitely a color that you can carry now in the summer, spring, summer, or fall, winter. So if you guys are interested, I will put the link below to Teddy Blake's website. Like I said, they're not expecting this video from me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I cleared up any skepticism that you might have. I have the same exact feelings, rest assured. Overall, I can tell you that this is a beautiful, well-made bag. It has incredible stitching. I have not had any pulls, scratches. There's little feet on the bottom as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. And just a really beautiful, classic bag that I think will take you through a long, long time to come. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Go to summer fragrance, but I do start wearing this now because I just can't help myself. The other two that I absolutely love, this one is called Kai, and it's their only...